Apple has finally released their own object eraser-like feature with Apple Intelligence, known as Cleanup. However, in the era of AI photography and editing, somehow showing that these images have been modified is critical. With Apple's Cleanup, edited images show a little banner in Photo Info, serving as a watermark and ensuring that people can't use the tool to generate misleading images. But as soon as I saw that, my first question was, how difficult would it be to remove it? Now, of course, there are existing workarounds for images marked in this way, such as taking a screenshot of the photo. While these methods work, they harm resolution and completely erase photo metadata like when or where the photo was taken, the camera model, focal length, and so on. My goal was to only remove the cleanup watermark, keeping the image exactly identical as it was down to the metadata. In other words, exactly what Apple doesn't want you to be doing. Now the actual label of modified with cleanup obviously correlates to some form of special data in the image, which Apple software is reading. There are two places where Apple could have hidden this watermark, in a metadata of the image or somehow in the bits of the actual image data itself. Let's examine each method. Metadata, as explained before, simply provides a list of properties about the photo. In our specific case, we are dealing with a type of photo metadata known as EXIF data. Apple could simply choose to slide an extra property in there that tells the system that the photo was modified. This is what I might call a lazier approach, because while it's easy to implement, it's also much easier to tamper with. The alternative approach would be to store the watermark in the bits of the image itself through a method known as steganography. Essentially, a sequence of data that only Apple software can recognize is injected into the very bits that contain the actual image data without changing the actual image that you see. This is much more foolproof and it prevents people like me from tampering with it as it's a big pain to dig through the bytes of an image and an even bigger pain to figure out which part specifically generates the watermark. Of course, Apple with their large focus on security and being literally the largest company in the world wouldn't just store the data verifying the integrity of its photos in metadata, right? Well, let's take a look. For this video, I'll be using this nice picture of some California poppies that I captured with my iPhone. I've sent the image to my Mac and converted it to JPEG so that it's easier to work with. Let's see how it looks when we run cleanup to remove this rock in the background. I had to run it a few times, but for on-device processing, it's honestly pretty good already. Notice how when we check the image information in the Photos app, we have a little sign telling us that it's AI generated. Now let's get started with probing the EXIF data. First, I dragged our modified photo back out of the actual Photos app into Finder so that I can read it easier. Immediately, I noticed that the credit property was labeled as Apple Photos Cleanup. Surely it wouldn't be this easy, but the first and most obvious route of attack that I took was to remove that single line of data. For modifying EXIF data, I will be using a CLI called EXIF tool, which is open source and cross-platform. With it, I directly set the credit field on our file metadata to blank, effectively removing it. Putting our final result back into photos, it didn't work. Expectedly, it wouldn't be that easy. The next logical step was to verify that the watermark was really stored in metadata and not somewhere else. In order to do this, I simply stripped every single property from the metadata and stuck the image back into Apple Photos. To my relief, it did in fact remove the watermark. Now you may notice that some things like the color of the image are now completely off. This is because EXIF also stores things like the color profile, which can affect the visuals of the photo. Of course, using this method as my final approach wouldn't have been much better than taking a screenshot anyway. This was simply a proof of concept that what I was trying to achieve was possible. So now the real question becomes, what exactly are the properties in a metadata that Apple had modified to encode the watermark? If we knew the answer to this question, we could selectively delete the watermarked fields. However, from before, there was evidently more than one property that was modified by Apple intelligence. But figuring out which ones needed to be removed simply by trial and error would be tedious. Thus, I had a better solution. I retrieved a copy of the original image before I used cleanup on it. Then I took my processed image and using EXIF tool, I read and redirected the metadata for both the old and new image into separate text files. Then by running a diff on them, I was able to figure out exactly which fields had been modified. Coming through these properties and excluding the ones that should have changed during the process, I ended up with this list that would be the final targets. I then used EXIF tool to selectively delete them by again assigning them to blank values. In theory, this should all work. The final test was to put it into photos and see how it would read my image. And lo and behold, the watermark was gone. And most importantly, the rest of the metadata was all intact. 
It was quite surprising that it was so easy to remove Apple's AI watermark. In essence, all it requires is taking the image into Finder, running a specific terminal command, and porting it back into Photos. To be frankly honest, I expected something more robust. But again, this is still a beta of Apple intelligence, and I'm sure that it's possible to fix this issue using other methods to sort a watermark, potentially with something along the lines of steganography. Of course, please do not use this method to generate any form of misleading content to distribute. This video is merely a proof of concept that this is possible. With that, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.